All right, folks, we are back on this thing. I know uh, for you, it's only been a, a week or so. For me, it's been a couple weeks since I've actually been working on this thing. Um, still haven't finished up the heater. We still got to run the hoses up there and I got to do exhaust and a few things under the truck. Uh, but I'm holding off on that because I want to know where my hoist is before I figure out where I wrote my exhaust. I don't want to just do a dump out here. I'd actually like to go up over the diff and then come out the back. But I want to make sure I'm not in the way of anything that's hoist related. So um, we pulled that cylinder out last time. You've seen that. So uh, we're going to use this and mock it up in there. That's kind of the plan. Whether it fully gets in or not, we don't know because you can already tell we got a uh, whole lot of snow. A whole lot of snow action's already started here. Winter is upon us. So you probably see a lot of videos coming up where there is no snow, but it's basically what I've been working on the past couple weeks. Farting around. Anyways, uh, for right now, I am going to try to situate the hoist, get that kind of where I need it to be. We got to do a little bit of tweaking here because we don't have any mounts in the back of the box. So I strictly have it on here, but it's sagging a little bit. So that's like this body line is actually coming down. And it's only because like if I lift on this, you can see there's some wiggle happening there. So I'm not too, I'm not too concerned about this line right now because the uh, frame in here is square. So anyways, what I'm going to do, pull some of this stuff off. I moved the truck back a little bit. I'm gonna use the hoist. We're gonna just get the box lifted up. And uh, then I'm gonna to try to hoist that thing into place and see where, where I'm putting it and where we do and don't have room. Like, I just don't want it to be in the way. I don't really wanna ditch this cross member. Like if I can move it and use it, that'd be awesome. But I don't, I don't wanna get rid of this cross member. I'd like hopefully this whole Hoist can sit further back. I, I would like that. And you can see I haven't dealt with any wiring yet. There's like lots to go in the back here. The floor's gonna be nothing special. I know a lot of you folks were mentioning getting rid of the wheel tubs. I do dig that idea. That said, I'm gonna leave a little bit because it's like this does go up. And if I did it flat, well, I guess you wouldn't see it, but I'm thinking I'll have a little bit of a hump in here. Very minor. Anyways, uh, let's lift this up. And I'm going to dig out that hoist and we'll try to stab it in here and see what happens. Well, from this angle, it looks doable. Not that bad. Uh, there's plenty of height from the diff to it. Should be under the floor. This cylinder, I want to move ahead a bit. Take this one off, move it back here so we can lift from this point. 
we'll kind of redo this brace to integrate with that. And uh, we'll make another bracket underneath this cross member and then tie it into the boxing plate that I put onto the frame. So that way it can kind of push into there while it goes up. I think it should be pretty easy. Uh, I guess right now all I'm gonna do, the easiest way to tackle this is actually lift the truck up. I'll uh, set up the hoist, we're gonna lift the truck up and then I can tackle the lift from underneath. We can kind of figure that out from there. Well, this is as far as I can get. So you see me weld that plate in. I got the one in, it's not fully welded. I welded a piece of angle because I want to just see how the box is, like how the, the tilt is going to work. So I don't have a heavy piece to go across uh, some two by two. So it's going to make the mount on there for the upper uh, pivot there. Uh, and the bottom's just sitting on an angle, but I'm going to make some mounts. I could cut that one out in the front but it's not the right width and it's such heavy steel to cut up and redeal with. I'm not gonna bother. So I guess I'll wait till tomorrow. I'll get a new piece. I'm gonna run a two by two across here and then uh, I can make some mounts from this to there. I'm gonna have to run to the farm. There is an electric power pack there that I wanna grab so I can run the cylinder. And then with my janky little setup under there, we'll see how this goes. I have a feeling I'll have to notch this upper mount a little bit and then we can box it up underneath after. But then at least we can go through the motions, see if the box works. And uh, I guess we'll start running the bracing across so we can kind of run the floor. At least that's my plan. <laughs>
Anyways, I can't do anything until tomorrow, so I guess that's where we'll leave it for now. Hey, buddy. Hmm? <laughs> I think you hurt your tail again, didn't you? Hmm? It's kind of moping around. But he's not really happy swinging his tail too much, so. Hey, okay. gotta be careful. Okay, we got some steel. We got some heavy two by two. So, next plan of attack is we're gonna make, uh, basically buzz it across here. And uh, we're gonna make a mount on the table. We're gonna make some mounts that we can run a pin through. And I still have to go to the farm and grab that other power pack. Cause I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll mount it to like this side of the frame. Cause then if anything with battery powered, I can kind of go up to the battery easy. Uh, I did get some angle iron, so we're gonna rebuild like this outer lip so we can hang my wood on there. To much people's disappointment, I'm pro I'm just running plywood. I'm not doing uh, any fancy tongue and groove. Anywho, let's uh, let's get started.
Moment of truth. You've seen this go up and down, so there's no real surprise, but anyways, that said, oh yeah, come on, this is awesome. I'm so out of oil. <laughs> All right, the reserve tank is not quite big enough because I've made an umpteen amount of messes here playing with this. But with everything said and done, this is super cool. <laughs> Come on, you got to admit, having a dump bed is pretty awesome. All you got to do is, I got to revamp this thing because the hose runs under here. But I'm thinking I can mount this tank under the floor. And then like behind my seat, I'll have a lever that I can pull up or push down to lift the hoist. And then I'll probably put a bypass switch on the dash. But with that said and done. Whoops. Well, I've been playing with this a bunch and the tank is just not quite big enough to get to the top, but it's also just, just the right size. I've kind of stuck a hose on here. There's like a complete mess on the floor here, but we're getting close to the max lift that I'm comfortable with because like we won't overextend the box. So I'm kind of a-okay with this. The only problem is, is I think I got the wrong oil. I got ATF in here and it gets a little foamy when it comes down. So, I mean, that's probably bad on my part. At the end, you can hear it coming. Ooh. And if you let it sit, it won't bubble. That's just me, whatever. We're just using what we got lying around. So I'm using ATF, which is, yeah, probably the wrong thing to put in there. That said and done, this thing does do everything I want it to do. Uh, we just need to figure out a filter for the end of here. And uh, we'll have to figure a mount on the box because this thing is a mechanical lift and drop. We pretty much hit the end of this. So, I mean, this is lifting as high as I care. All right, besides the huge mess that I've made, we know this works. So, I guess. Next step is I'm going to lift it up and see where I can mount this thing that it works over here. I personally would like it to be on this side. Be easier if it was on the other side, but anyways, I'd like it to be able to be get at some switch or something under here, but we'll have to lift it up first. See what I got for room under there. I really don't want to crawl under the box to lift like it would mount nicely right there, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I can do something with that and I can make a lever off of it that goes in like I'm thinking, but... Man, yeah, let's see. See how long my hose is and if we can make this work. <laughs> and we'll clean up our mess on the floor all at the same time.
Well, there we go. So, what have we all done? You've seen me make the, the mount. So that's on here, bolted up. Just threw an extra one on because I can. This one I kind of messed up, so eh, three bolts are better than the none. It was held on to the other vehicle with just two, so it'll be fine. We'll still have to tidy up our hoses here, kind of get that out of the way, but we did that. We ran some a battery line, which I don't have hooked up upstairs yet. We still got to deal with the heater hose situation, figure out my speedo cable. Uh, down here, I did super simple. I just found an old PTO cable. We kind of just wrapped it on the end because it's nothing very fancy to this setup. And I do want to put a bypass eventually in here, so it doesn't matter what I do, you can't accidentally turn this thing on. I'm just not sure if this is quite far enough. So I guess we'll uh, lower it down and uh, give her a test, see if it works. And I'll show you the setup. It's actually behind the seat into that crawl space where the filler is, so it should work perfect. Alrighty. So, this is what we made up. So therefore, if we push down, makes our box go up. And then when we pull up on the handle, makes our box go down. <laughs> Pretty mint. Pretty mint. I'm happy with that. Oh, lead Dyna, that is awesome. It was a bit of a sucker. But I think we got that situated. Uh, I don't know where we're at here. Wouldn't mind getting the bumper just to sit on there so we can kind of get a feel for how the whole unit works together. It's been over there tying up space for a long time, so. I think I'm gonna lift this up a bit. I am gonna get the bumper kind of situated where it's supposed to be. And then uh, we'll kind of tack it on and see how things go. I think that is the plan.
Well, that worked out great. That is a nice looking bumper. Look at that. <laughs> so what I ended up doing is the ends, I cut them off because they didn't fit. I wanted to suck the bumper in. And uh, I ended up, this was here. Like this was this way. I kind of flipped them side to side. This was the long side, which ended up sticking it out just far enough. So then I just rounded the corners and kind of cleaned up the end a bit. I like it. It's awesome. Everything is working as I wanted. I'm actually pretty happy about this. That is great. Look at that. Goes with it as it's supposed to. There's a hitch hidden down there, but <laughs> I'll be darned if I ever forget that sucker in there. It just clears the bumper when it's down, so that's cool. Or when it's up, I should say. If there was a receiver in there, things would get murdered badly. Anyways, I'm pretty happy. This is pretty good. I like it. Pump is nicely tucked away. I topped it up, which was a fail, so. <laughs> I gotta just live with it. This is as high as it'll go, which is, I don't need much more than this, so I'm okay with that. Anyways, we lift her up. Down she goes. I'm sure the oil thing is, is because there's ATF in it. I am certain of that. I know that's not what's supposed to be in there. That's what was in it, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Anyways, like the upper hose, there's nothing there. I got to find a tab with a vent on it. So it doesn't, uh, uh, it doesn't get garbage in the cylinder. For now, I just have it like looped out there till we do the floor and some stuff. But uh, yeah, I am, this is awesome. This is a, I would say a hurdle. Like I had to get this part done. Now we can kind of focus on the floor, get the floor done, maybe play with these tubs, get the wiring done in the back. So we can get the tail lights, get our uh, tag light working. Oh yeah, we are on the home stretch. Well, I think this is where I'm gonna leave this one though. I, uh, I wanna thank you folks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one when we do more truck stuff. <laughs> Mostly playing with the bed. Anyways, later. <laughs>